Valencia King here with Real Talk Sports, and I am at the exact hoop where the Dallas Mavericks got it done tonight as they now are 2-1 and one to start this NBA season, getting their first two wins on their home court in front of all of you, hashtag MFFLs. Now tonight, they did defeat the Chicago Bulls, so we'll get to the Mavs, but first, we are going to start with the Chicago Bulls. They had a great three quarters, but they're still working to put together a full 48 minutes, as you'll hear their head coach talk about. I thought uh, first half, we were, we were getting the ball up the floor uh, very quickly, obviously. Mean, Things, things were going very well for us on the offensive end. I thought we played a great effort, uh, you know, even though, uh, you know, at the end, I, I just felt like we lost our composure uh, there in the fourth quarter. And when they went on a run on us, again, we tried to get it back individually and, you know, got to keep working on it. It's something that has to improve. Uh, but we lost our composure and we, and we lost our poise. And, you know, seven turnovers in the fourth quarter, uh, it's going to get you beat, beat on the road. If you're familiar with the Chicago roster, and even if you're not, let me be the first to tell you that they are a young team, still learning and still growing together. We got a chance to hear from Chris Dunn, who actually fouled out of tonight's game. You know, the next game, we just got to try to lock in more. I think that's the biggest thing, lock in. If adversity hits, stay poised, stay together, um, and try to execute. I think uh, the effort's there. You know, I think we're fighting out there, you know, playing hard. You know, now it's time, you know, to be smart and execute. Real Talk Sports got a few one-on-ones tonight in the Chicago locker room. The first one was with number five, Bobby Portis, who is a fourth-year player in the NBA. I got a chance to talk to him about the game, of course, but also how he feels he's grown as an NBA player. Coach kind of talked about the breakdowns during the fourth quarter. How do you guys, I know it's early in the season, but how do you guys move forward to putting together that full 48 minutes? I'm uh, just staying locked in. I think overall, I think we had a good game overall. Um, now, we had some mishaps, some mishaps uh, here and there, but I think overall we played a good game on both ends. Um, you know, obviously you wanted to get the win, but um, it didn't happen for us tonight. Lastly, you have a few years under, in the league under your belt. How do you feel you've progressed since your rookie season as a player? Um, I think I progressed a lot, a um, lot more comfortable. Uh, the game slowed down for me tremendously. Um, when I first was in the league, uh, you know, I was just racing out there, going 100 miles an hour. But you know, now the game's really slowed down for me, and um, it's fun going out there, do what I do on it every day. Um, you know, it's a blessing to be in this position. Uh, I never take it for granted, and um, it's fun. You feel a young player yourself, but do have you given any advice for the rookies along the way so far? I mean, you know, just always stay ready. And, um, you know, you know, one thing about the league, um, things happen. Um, players get traded, um, players get injured. Uh, just always stay ready for your moment. Um, you never know when you're going to get thrown in there, so you know, just always sit on the bench, you know, clap for your teammates. But, you know, when it's your time, when your number's called, uh, be ready. No With every year in the NBA, we can be assured that each player is trying to do the best to get better. Now, Zach Levine says he's still working on his defense, but he knows that he's grown from his rookie season. Yeah, I try to work on every part of my game. Um, you know, I still have a lot of improvements. I've always been really good on the ball. Athletically, I feel like I've been able to keep up very by, but off the ball, you know, looking and turning and stuff like that. And I feel like I'm getting better, especially this year. I'm, I'm a lot more locked in and focused. I always love when we get to catch up with a former Real Talk Sports rookie highlight. And tonight we did just that. Now, if you've been following me, you remember we had to dab on him one time with Campaign, and we got a chance to find out what he's listening to now. It's still the Migos, no shocker, but here's Campaign. Now, the last time I asked you about the pregame playlist, it was Migos dabbing. Who are you listening to now? Migos. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't change. Migos, uh, really anything now. To me, everything rides. <laughs> okay, okay. I love it. Well, thanks for the time, Cam. <laughs> Let's take it from a former rookie highlight to two new rookie highlights for this NBA season. The first one is with Wendell Carter Jr., who is number 34. He is a big, and he is learning from their vet on their team, Robin Lopez. You got a vet on the team in Lopez. Excuse me, in Lopez. Has he been able to offer any advice along the way so far? Oh, yeah, of course. You know, that's someone I definitely grew close with uh, as soon as I got here. Um, you know, he, he just told me what to expect. You know, with me being a rookie, you know, a lot of players are going to go at me, things like that. So you know, just telling me to keep my head and he's always going to have my back. How did you approach this rookie season for you? Uh, just try to, you know, fit in where I can, find a, find a spot to a, a need for this team, and then, you know, try to embrace it and, and be that guy that can be reliable, even though, you know, having played um, super important minutes being a rookie, but uh, just continuing to learn. I see Cam watching this interview kind of closely. What has it been like just kind of getting a, a family bond with these guys on the team so far? Yeah, it's been good. I mean, they've taken me in and continue to help me out and making this a lot easier for me, you know, um, with everything that comes with being a first-year player. But they've been great to me. 
And lastly, my show is Real Talk, so I always ask a fun Real Talk question. What is on your preseason or your pregame playlist that gets you ready for the game? Who are you listening to? Uh, right now, I'm still playing that Lil Baby and Gunna uh, album, so yeah. And with that, wow, 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 I'm Lil Baby. <laughs> as I said earlier, the Dallas Mavericks are now 2-1 and one for this NBA season, but DeAndre Jordan knows as a veteran himself that it's still early in the game. You see it in spurts, but we got to... We have yet to, I mean, it's only our third game. We have yet to put it together for 48 minutes. Um, we got to find a way to do that. And that's what the great teams do today. Um, there, there's not many lapses. Um, like I said, our, our shots may not fall every night, but defensively, we got to have that effort and, and focus. Leading the Dallas Mavericks in minutes tonight was Dorian Finney Smith, who actually played 39 minutes and some change and finished the game with 12 points. Now, you may not look at the 12 points as much, but let me be the first to tell you that he did a lot of things that are not going to show up on this stat sheet to help the Dallas Mavericks get the win tonight. First time I've been, you know, 2 one since I've been in Dallas, so um, I'm going to enjoy this for the night. And hopefully, you know, we can keep the streak going, you know, this little streak we have. And, uh, you know, learn from the uh, learn from this game. I think we had a good second half, so hopefully it carry over. One of the main conversations for the Mavs this season is Dennis and Luca, and we got a chance to hear about what Zach Levine thinks of the both of them. You know, Luca, Luca, I think Luca's with the same agency I have too, so I've, I've spent some time with him. He was in Seattle with me um, for a Destiny Two event, uh, video game. Real cool dude down there. Hey, that anybody that plays those video games is cool with me. So I got his number. We kicked it a little bit, but. Uh, He's great. He's not. He's really not a rookie. I was trying to tell these dudes in here that he's not a rookie. He's composed. He's been in professional basketball since we were in like, like grade school. Since he was like 13 or something like that, right? So like that's no slouch. You know, he's he's pretty much a vet, but just really really young. So he knows what he's doing, man. He's really good. What about Dennis? Oh, Dennis. Dennis is off the charts. And you know, I always respect somebody that's had the ACL injury and came back with, you know, the same same type of athleticism. That you have to have a certain mindset. You know, and. Uh, you know he's extremely fast and explosive, and you know they got a they got a good they got a good future one two point one two punch with those two because Luca can play point and he can play off the ball or he can play on point and he can play off the ball too. So, you know. as always, thanks so much for tuning into this episode of Real Talk Sports. If you want to be one of our ticket winners and get this, maybe not this close. Make sure you're following me on all social media sites at I am Valencia King. And shout out to our ticket winners of tonight's game. And a special shout out to our behind the scenes, future in front of the scenes camera, Rafael Barlow, who is going to be bringing you guys some exclusive draft talk, NBA rookie talk, and all the basketball talk. Until next time, I'm Valencia King.